How uh, do you address alternative hypotheses of Mary's pregnancy? Well, by reading them and thinking about them and so on. Because there aren't too many real alternative hypotheses. Because we're thinking of texts that come from a very conservative Jewish background. In the contemporary world, nothing would be thought whatsoever about Mary's pregnancy. It wouldn't raise any questions. In the ancient world, it raised a whole lot of questions. And I'm sure that Joseph, at the beginning, he considered the alternative hypothesis and believed it. Some other man is responsible. This lady cannot be my wife under the laws of the day, so I'm going to divorce her. The idea that God could be involved in this, of course, is an overwhelmingly huge idea. Now, it's important to say that it is Luke that tells us most about this. He was a doctor, and doctors tend to know much more about what's wrong with us than our neighbors, don't they? We treat them with our confidences and so on. You will notice in the New Testament that the apostles didn't go around the world saying, I believe Jesus is God because he was born, uh, he was conceived of a virgin. Because people had no access to that. To have Mary besieged by thousands of people would have been awful. So they preached the resurrection, which is consistent, of course, with the virgin conception. They didn't preach that because it wasn't accessible. So uh, the theories proliferate. And, of course, the theories depend on assuming naturalism, mainly, trying to explain it within uh, the core of what we understand from science. But there's so many little hints that this is authentic. You see, for instance, Luke, being a doctor, knew the law of nature. It is very interesting to me that he uses the law of nature to argue the case for the genuineness of this because he describes John the Baptist and the pregnancy, and he gives a sequence of datings, if you read Luke chapter 1, in the third month, in the sixth month, in the eighth month or something. And the datings are not in the eighth month of a certain year, but they are the months of Elizabeth's pregnancy. And looking at the text seriously, you ask yourself, why is he doing that? I mean, he is a doctor, but what's he using it for? And then it suddenly occurs to you that according to the text, it says that God sent a supernatural messenger to tell Mary that she was to bear a child. And then it says she went to a very elderly, godly Jewish woman called Elizabeth, who had been pregnant earlier, and the question you automatically ask is, when did she go? And why did she go? Did she go because she was already experiencing the evidence that she was pregnant? And she was really now in trouble and wanted help? And the answer is no. Because Luke's timing of Elizabeth's pregnancy shows she went immediately after the angel had told her, before there was any physical evidence whatsoever that she was pregnant. And that is one of those seemingly innocent but very deliberate things to indicate to us, I believe, that we're dealing with something very serious and genuine.